What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back for the finale of the Giro d'Italia and for this time we will be finishing the race proper. Four stages left. You know the situation, we're right there in the GC. Teo Gegenhardt currently sits in pink though. It's very close at the top. Let's not mess around. Let's get straight into today's stages. Underway we go then, stage 18 now and I am pumped about these race day conditions. Lenny Kemner gets a plus four, Covey as well, pluses elsewhere. And let's try and get the likes of Ciccone, Covey in the breakaway, try and stack the breakaway today and getting Ciccone up the road will be crucial. And this is one of the stages we went to a training camp for a few months ago, a few weeks ago. I think the only rider who didn't go was Gianni Moscon, which shows how important that was. He gets a minus four and Kemner a massive, massive plus four today. Right now we have an absolute explosion of riders trying to join the breakaway. You can see Kobe Goosens, we have the likes of Yates, James Knox, Tanel Kangert, Andreas Letnesund. We have Simon Yates here, Miguel Angel Lopez, uh, Matteo Fabro from our team, Joao Almeida, Pidcock, the list goes on. But we have four riders in total from our team, Bissiger, Kobe, Ciccone and Matteo Fabro. This could be very big for us to help out Lenny Kemner later in the race, if we can keep these guys up the road. So 27 riders in the final breakaway. I think a few were dropped, but this just gives us so much tactical flexibility to drop numerous riders black, uh, back throughout the race to help out Kemner um, later on in the race. Really, really excited about the stage. But the rhythm up the road in this breakaway is absolutely massive. We may lose all our guys, bar Chicone, Biscuit and Covey, already out the back. I guess this group is just full of such strong climbers and now Matteo Fabro is starting to struggle as well and now we're seeing the first attacks up the road. Ciccone is going to try and follow Bessencourt. I think it would be worth trying to pick up some Maglia at zero points with Ciccone. Can we take them here um, and oh, maintain position at the wrong moment? Can we fight back with Ciccone? Couple of points. It's not too bad at least and you can see we're now into the top 10 in the mountain jersey. Of course, Ciccone is a former winner of the Maglia Azura. On to the Paso for Zaya. Then downhill, we have 19 riders still left at the front, but only one from our team, sadly. Biska, Fabro, and Kofi have all been dropped, but they still have a few minutes on the peloton. We may as well keep them here for the moment. It's still pretty much a full peloton in the main group. And we are seeing a massive rhythm in the peloton here, somewhere by the team really uppering it on the front. But Ciccone is going to need to try and stay with the guys at the front. Maybe we can follow Fausto Masnada here, um, but we are struggling a little for energy with Ciccone Bisca as well. He's going to have to wait for the pulse on. He is now done. Kemna just try and main, uh, maintain position in the front group as he is right now. And Ciccone up to 99. Can we maybe beat Masnada? You can see we are just so done. So many riders. Lopez, of course, a just the recent stage winner is completely done. Can we stay with Masnada? We're going to stay with him, but he takes the full points again. And Masnada... Fair play to him, looks brilliant for that mountain jersey. But Brambria is still ahead um, and Ciccone at the front of the race. Covey and Fabro as well, to be honest, may even be swept up by the peloton before we know it with Moscon and Vermarca really struggling. Over the top of the Paso for Dyer then and suddenly we're down to 53 riders in the peloton. Bissiger is going straight through this group. Covey and Fabro as well can just sit up and wait for this group with Aliotti. Left protecting Kemna for now. The tempo is not slowing down at all, guys. This is just a beautiful stage of the Giro d'Italia. Riders scatters all around up the roads in the breakaway. Um, but Kemna sat at 72. We're just trying to retain and preserve as much energy. And I think the Paso Giao could be our chance to attack. So at the head of the race, Ciccone is struggling a little more this time to stay with the guys at the front and take any mountain points. So let's just try and stay here. I think that's Masnada again at the road taking full points. We'll take some points and stay at the front. The 39 riders of the Peloton sweep downhill after the Fadaya and we have the first kind of non-section that isn't super climbing uphill or downhill for a little while at least until the Paso Giao average of 9% and 10k. But still, so much more climbing after that. It could be risky to try and attack. So former rider Gino Maza, the Swiss, is on the front kicking things off on the Paso Giao. And Kemner is just so strong today. Pacing at 80, Fabro is really struggling just to stay ahead of him. Let's drop that to 76. Ciccone still has over five minutes. We may even 
have to drop him back on this very climb. And I've been caught to the back of this group a bit and we're seeing the first attacks from the main riders today. Pino and Lander kick things off. Still so many riders here for an attack by a big GC rider. Um, but we just cannot get through. Guessing blocks off terribly to the back of this group. And Aliossi is pretty done as well. We're going to have to drop Chicone right here to help out Lenny Kemner. Let's just make sure we can get through these riders and stay with the guys at the front. And we're forced out the back briefly. But it does all seem to come somewhat back together. 23 riders still here and still five Yumbo Visma riders in this group. Let's try and make our way to the front of this group. No tempo here. And this is a great chance for Lenny Kemner to counter-attack these guys. Gegenhart is the man to try and follow in pink. And of course, here is Chikone waiting perfectly for Kemner. Let's get straight into his wheel. Kemner, uh, or sorry, Chikone can try and carry the likes of Pino, Landa and Gegenhart to the top of this climb. But still Sepkus working for the likes of Tom de Moulin. Alaphilippe as well in this group. Let's just try and go 84 to the top of this climb. Chikone so strong today. Really helping Kemner. Where is the Mulan? Where is Molomar? Vlasov seems to be done for the day. I'll be honest, I'm not sure where everyone is on the road. There are riders everywhere right now, but Chikone is pressing on, trying to Kamna, Gegenhart, Pino, and Lander, to be fair as well. Yates making a late recovery, but we have Ala Philippe and the Mulan. A decent gap on these guys. Bardet and Molomar in that group as well. Let's try and recover in this descent, but try and keep that gap. So the big loser right now is Alex Vlasov. He is so, so far behind. Big, big crack by Vlasov. Then we have the group of Demulan and Alaphilippe. And further up the road, we have the Jacone led group. It's not a massive gap. So the two groups do rejoin. So we have the Yombo Vesma boys again with us. And looking at that final climb, I'm getting a bit scared that I've gone too early and been too aggressive here early on in the stage. That final climb is unreal. Onto the Paso Trecochi, and we have an early attack by Frenchman Thibaut Pino. Apparently feeling good today. You're never quite sure how Pino is feeling in the third week of a Grand Tour, but these guys are going to try and bring him in. Let's try and get Chikone protecting Kemna. Try and conserve some energy. We really need to, uh, need to take this one steady with that final little punchy hill or climb in mind, and we're getting dropped straight through the back of this group and I'm just so worried about that final climb. Riders are getting dropped left, right and centre as we have 20k to go with this group trying to get to the wheel of Thibaut Pino. It's not a massive gap to be fair. Yates is jumping to the Frenchman, so is Carthy and you know what, we're making Gegenhart do this work. He is in pink, it's his job to bring him in. Does he attack? Not there. We're not doing any pacing for Gegenhart and there we go, Gegenhart is doing the work to be fair to him for the moment. Not panicking just yet, but there you go. Gegenhart does decide to attack up to those guys. And I missed the move. Couldn't quite follow him. Should I do the work for Demulan? Should I attack? Not quite sure what to do here. Should I be cautious or should I try and jump across this gap? Let's try and get Demulan to do some work, but he's not doing any work. He's just not strong enough today. So Kemna up to 84. Let's try and push on. Actually try and kick away from these guys. Lander trying to follow... Chavez, why'd you do it to me, my man? Not ideal, not ideal timing there, but Lanza on our wheel. Come on, Kemner, let's try and get back to the wheel of the pink jersey, Pino and Yates by the top of this climb. And to be fair to Mikael Lanza, he is here to help us and has a lot left. Fair play, Mikael Lanza. We really needed some support right there to bridge this gap. But Pino crest this climb and we're almost back to their wheel. Great stuff by Mikael Lanza and Lenny Kemner. Uh, but with the help of Joao Almeida, these guys are going to bridge the gap. So again, we do have 14 riders at the front. Alaphilippe and De Milan are back in. I think we're going to have to try something. But for now, it's a flatter section. Until that final climb, we're not doing any work whilst we don't have to. Let's just try and recover as much energy as possible. But here we go. An attack by Thibaut Pino. I'm not doing the work. And they go. Gegenhart does decide to try and jump across. Let's follow the Brits and Gegenhart continues his attack. What a move this is. Still 6k to go on that final climb to come. And let's sit up again. We're not doing any work. I'm not doing any pacing until that final climb. Let's just try and follow moves. But was that a bad idea? Because we did waste some energy and we're still in this same group with the same guys right there. 5k to go. We're now coming into the Lavaredo. And this is going to be a massive Massive moment in the GC. We're going to take it a little steady. Start at 60. Adam Yates kicks away. Pino kicking as well. He decides not to go 
It's for Gegenhardt to close down right here. I'm not going to close it straight away. And Yates has a pretty sizable lead suddenly, up to about 40 seconds. But now, three and a half k to go. It's time to go. Hammer time. Lenny Kemner on the attack, trying to kick off the front. Gegenhardt is trying to follow. So is Alaphilippe this time, making the bridge. Seems to have recovered somewhat after seemingly struggling earlier in the stage. Landa, Pino, and de Mulan and the like have been caught behind. What a stage this is. And Tom de Mulan has completely cracked right now. Pino and Landa unable to join us on this occasion as Alaphilippe has been ridden off our wheel. We're here with Gegenhart. And Gegenhart is pedalling heavily. And we're going to kick away from the Maglia Rosa with Kemner. And we've dropped Gegenhart. We're here with Adam Yates. He seems to be struggling as well. Let's try and just go straight past the two Brits. And Lenny Kemner has one kids go. This is unreal. I think we can hopefully hang on for the stage, but how much time can we take on these guys? Pino is struggling, Gegenhart and Yates are completely done. We can see the finish line, what a stage this has been. And Lenny Kemner pushing it still to the line. He's opening up a sizable lead. How much time can we take on these guys? I think we're going to claim the Maglia Rosa right now, you know. Lenny Kemner can celebrate what a stage that is at the Giro, unbelievable stuff. Lenny Kamner wins a beautiful stage. Yates will be second. Great, uh, great performance by him today. Gegenhart is going to fight back. Pino and Landa as well. And we take almost two minutes on the Maglia Rosa today. Further back, we have the likes of Bardet, Alaphilippe. Formolo didn't do too badly, but De Moulin will be so disappointed. He's lost three and a half minutes. Molima with a big crack as well. Five minutes down and a disastrous day for Alex Vlasov. His GC hopes are over. I cannot remember playing a stage I enjoyed that much, guys. What a stage that was. I mean, only a few stages ago we had a crazy one. But Lenny Kemner wins it this time by over a minute ahead of anyone else. Unbelievable. We've risen our way to the front of the race. Yates was strong. Pino was strong as well. Gegenhart looked strong. But suddenly, he just cracks on that final climb. And Kemner, of course, did get that massive plus four race day, and I truly believe that was mainly due to the training camp we did earlier in the year, which really has boosted his race days in the final week. And looking a little closer at these results, it was Pino, Yates, Gegenhart, with Lander as well, the strongest kind of four guys in the GC, clearly, bar Kemner. Alaphilippe, again, struggling a little bit. Not too bad on a, on a stage that doesn't really suit him, to be fair, but De Moulin will be really annoyed. With a time trial still to come, he only needed to stay in touch. But now, looking in the GC, Lenny Kamner is back in pink. Who would have thought it after the craziness of stage 10? And also, Masnada has basically secured the Maglia at Zero today. Fair play to him. So quickly, guys, to recap the stages, we have to finish the Giro. We have a very much needed flat one to follow. Uh, rest for the GC guys there. And then we have the final mountain top finish, mountain stage this year to San Valentino. And then we have the final TT into Milan where we will know who is going to win pink. Here it is then. The Maglia Rosa is back on the shoulders of Lenny Kemner looking just fantastic, it has to be said. Today, we're just going to try and recover with all of our guys. We're not really interested in chasing in any type of breakaway uh, we just want to conserve energy literally all day. So it has been Gianni Moscon on the front for the past 100 kilometers. No other teams are willing to work today. Of course, we are in pink, so it's fair enough. But I'm not too worried about spending any energy in bringing these guys in, which does mean I think they will fight for the win in about 60k. So these guys are going to fight out for the stage in a sprint. Aronsman, Swift, Sardini, and again, not quite sure who's the favorite. Maybe Swift, actually, just ahead of Aronsman and Connor Swift. Wins a stage of the Giro for Red Bull Racing. What a win that is for those guys. For some reason, the teams decide to start pacing with about 10k to go. We're just sitting in, conserving energy, like I said today. This is it then, guys. The decider. Kemner continues in pink. Can he hold on to it until the time trial to Milan tomorrow? It's a fairly long TT. So our 50-second gap to Teo Gegenhart isn't decisive just yet, but I think... It should be okay to cover off Teo. So I think we should play this stage very defensively. Keep our guys in the main peloton. Not put anyone in the break and just try and control things today. 
Kemner at plus one, it's not the best, but should be okay, I hope. And there are teams that are starting to put a lot of riders in today's breakaway. You can see Mulberger, Almeida, we have Simon Yates, Masnada again, trying to get in the breakaway. So it's going to be a strong group. We don't really want our rivals putting loads of riders in the breakaway today. Uh, because obviously that gives them an advantage. And it has been Stefan Biska doing a lot of the pacing with Tony Martin for the Ineos Grenadiers, to be fair. Um, and we have five minutes still to the guys at the very front of the race. Still plenty of guys in this group, of course. And Biska is working so hard on the front to try and get the gap down to the breakaway well under five minutes before the day's climbing really gets underway. So Biska can pull over. He is now done for the day and here we go the punta veleno oh my word look at this climb right now let's go to 82 with our guys um our leaders chicone and kemner can sit at 72 maybe even these guys to 84 use their gels as well and we're in a good position in the group this climb i didn't realize how steep it was this is absurdly steep right here boy oh boy i actually cannot get over how steep the uh the first section of this climb is well Pretty much the entire climb, unbelievably steep. Average of 13%, pretty much. And Vamarka, Faber and Kovi continue to do a fantastic job. We are in the prime position right now with these guys just relaying, putting in um, the watts right here. They will die before the top of the climb. Hopefully, we can keep Aliotti and maybe Ciccone as well. We've now put Moscon and Aliotti to the front then. I think Moscon will go by the top as well we're going to slow it down a little bit we have just 63 riders in this group right here and it's going to be much fewer as well by the top right now at this current tempo I'd, I'd rather keep Aliotti I think rather than go down to just Kemner and Chicone by the top so we crest the Punta Valeno with Aliotti still at the front of this group and just 38 riders 37 have survived with Cataneo, Ulysses, Caicedo as well struggling to the top of course, we're not going to have shed, I don't believe, any of the top 10. You can see they're all still here, um, but we're in a pretty good position right now. So Aliotti still leading us after the descent. Let's take a quick look up at the breakaway. We still have 12 riders um, over four minutes up the road, so I think they may take the stage win. It's not a massive lead. Okay, but here we go. Now we have Jumbo Visma trying to assert some dominance on the front for Tom de Moulin. He still has a chance, you know, within three minutes. And of course, with the time trial coming, we cannot count out to Mulan just yet. So on the Monte Baldo right now, we're too far to the back of the group. I'm going to try and move up on the right-hand side. Aliotti is pretty much done right now, but Giacone is on a God-level day, plus five day. I think he's stronger than Kemner today for sure. So we should have Giacone helping us pretty much throughout, at least I hope so, for Lenny Kemner, as we are doing a good job moving up now in this group but Jumbo Visma still with plenty of numbers as now Miguel Angel Lopez starts to take over on the front of this group and here we go Alex Vlasov, Mikhail Lanza, Adam Yates are, are all attacking right now to Mulan, Pino, Gegenhardt as well we need to react to this right here with Lenny Kamner luckily like I say Shikone on such a good day we still have 6k to go to the top of this climb let's try and tempo them in Thibaut Pino Trying to attack and so is Teo Gegenhart. Don't tell me we're going to lose this Giro right now. Still a long, long way to go. Chicone is doing such good work here. And Gegenhart is just up the road. We can use our gel, I think, with Kemner too. Pino has bridged to the group just up the road. I don't mind Gegenhart being there. We have 4k to go in this climb. Adam Yates is cracking. Molimer as well. Julian Alaphilippe has cracked as well. Um, and that is a big... Big crack. He is still fourth place in the GC, of course. And we are now in this group with Teo Gegenhart. Pino is up the roads. I do not care about that, really. Let's sit in for now. 3K to go in this climb. Chicone is still here with us. And Pino is the man making a move so far today. So Yates is gone. And De Mulan is now struggling as well. A few guys are struggling here. And Chicone um, has been a massive support to Lenny Kemner, but here we go. Gegenhart is starting to kick on. Pino is in the group up the roads, and Chicone is now done. We have dropped him, as well as plenty of other guys. We're in this group with Vlasov and Gegenhart. So let's try and maybe push to that Pino group over the top here. And Gegenhart is being dropped here by Lenny Kemner on the Monte Baldo. We're here now with Thibaut Pino and Alex Vlasov from the GC, as well as a bunch of other guys 
from the breakaway. But looking good now. Gegenhardt has been dropped. Of course, we still have a descent and a big final climb as well. But let's sit up in this group. We don't need to push this at all with Lenny Kemner. We're here with Pino Vlasov and no one from the GC has escaped us, but we are alone. So Gegenhardt going to try and get back in right now. You can see further back is the Demoulin group. Chicone is up the road from them as well. What a day he has had. We're going to sit in. We don't need to pull, of course. Pino, Vlasov, if they want to move up in the GC. Pino is third place right now. They can try, but we are not going to do any work. We can recuperate and then try and make sure we're strong enough for the final climb. And at the front, guess who? Fausto Masnada is leading Simon Yates and Jack Haig for the potential stage win. 5k to go in the stage for Lenny Kemner. We have San Valentino right now. Let's try and follow any moves from Thibaut Pino. We'll sit up at 84. Follow the Frenchman and Alex Vlasov. Vlasov is attacking. I don't need to follow him. He's 11 minutes down in the GC. We'll just try and stay here with Thibaut Pino. 2.5k to go for us. I think we can go like this to the line. In fact, let's go 90. Make sure we stay with Thibaut Masnada definitely deserves this stage um, after how strong he has been throughout this race. And Gegenhart cannot get back on right now. I think he may be losing his chances of this year's Giro. Let's try and get to Vlasov with Kemner if we can. Pino starting to struggle as well as we come under the Flam Rouge right here. 800 meters, Kemner kicking on. Pino is struggling a little. Did he go too early? Fausto Masnada celebrates as Vlasov closes him down. Masnada finally gets a stage when Vlasov shows some form. He should have shown that earlier in the race. We finish in this group and Pino will survive here. Haig is dropped and look at the gap we have back to the likes of Landa, Kelderman and Bardet. And where is Gegenhardt? What a crack by the Englishman. He's going to lose minutes today to Lenny Kemner. Same with Tom de Moulin as well. Well, that went a bit well, didn't it? We have one more stage to hold on right now. Kemner was the strongest, apart from Vlasov in the GC. Shame he didn't show that throughout the race. He was really weak on some stages and that cost him in the end. Pino as well was the other strong man from the GC group. And Gegenhart really cracked in the end, losing over two minutes, almost two minutes to Kemner, um, but over two minutes to the stage winner, Fausto Masnada, who has been really strong throughout this race. And looking at the GC right now, Lenny Kemner has over two minutes going into the time trial in Milan over Thibaut Pino. Gegenhart has dropped a third. De Milan almost five minutes down. And even with his time trialing abilities, I hope we should be fine with that gap. Shout out to Julio as well today. What a rise by Julio. Plus five day. And he was massive supporting Lenny Kemner. This is a surprise. Didn't expect to see that. Lenny Kemner not feeling well. Hopefully he can hold on in the TT, that's all I'm going to say. So the TT gets underway in Monza. Our first rider, Stefan Biska, is underway too. I hoped we could potentially try and go for the stage with Stefan. Minus one day, definitely not though, but what a beautiful setting. Monza to the centre of Milan. And so I do want to take this opportunity to say a massive thank you and a shout out to Stylus slash Danilo. Um, he is the guy who has created all of these stages, this full Giro d'Italia. Um, so just a massive thank you to him because it has been an incredible parkour, it's just a wonderful race. So Ken Vermarker isn't going to do anything today, but Gianni Moscon behind him on a plus four day. Great attributes on the stage. Let's see, can he push it to the line? Running out a little early, 13 seconds down. It's, it's pretty close to be fair. None of that is going to matter though, because obviously Pippo Ganna is going to cruise into the lead over 30 seconds clear. Away we go then in pink from Monza and it's not a great day, minus two in fact. So really feeling the effects of that illness is Lenny Kemner. Surely we're not gonna fall short one day early, um, but I think we have enough. Let's take a look at the top 10. So from currently in 10th position, we have um, Hugh Carthy, 11 minutes and 50 down. Vlasov, 11 minutes down. Just started too late, it seems. Balcom Olmer over 10 minutes as well. Then we have a big jump up to Alaphilippe, just over six minutes down. But he has collapsed, really. Down to seventh place. Remember, he was in the Maglia Rosa just a few stages ago. Adam Yates is six minutes down as well. He was unlucky, um, I think, on stage 15 it was. Mikhail Lander, five and a half minutes. So these 
three guys, Lander, Yates and Alaphilippe, could definitely change positions. De Milan is five minutes down. Just didn't quite have enough in the mountains, did Tom De Milan at this Giro. Two and a half minutes down is Gagan Hart. He'll be aiming to overtake Thibaut Pino, who is over two minutes down. And surely we can hold them off. Let's hope so. So Gagan Hart is 52 seconds down. Pino, 56. Not the best times by either of those guys. We're going to push this to 76 right now. Let's see how much we have lost. So we are losing a little time to them, but we should be pretty safe. Good time by Alaphilippe, to be fair. We could see him jump up a few positions. Only one minute down. I think Yates and Lanza are going to be drops behind Alaphilippe. So Yates, let's just see. Two minutes down for Adam Yates. Not a great time by him. And Mikhail Lanza will lose, I think, over two minutes as well. So they both drop behind Alaphilippe to Mulan. Only 30 seconds down, a great time by him. He's too far behind Gegenhardt, Pino or Kemner for it to make a difference though. Here comes Teo Gegenhardt crossing the line in Milan. 1 minute 55, so we need to lose about 5 minutes in the TT for him to overtake us. I think we're safe. I think we can start to celebrate Thibaut Pino. Let's see if he can hold off Teo Gegenhardt. I think he should do. 2 minutes down in the ends. It's not going to be a great time trial by any stretch of the imagination for Lenny Kamner, but the German is going to win the Giro d'Italia. We win our first Grand Tour. What a win. Two minutes down for Kemner. We win the Giro d'Italia. Pippo Ganna wins the time trial into Milan, but guys, we have done it. Lenny Kamner has won the Giro d'Italia for Timo Barbianchi. I am so pumped. I'm, I'm so happy about this. Honestly, it was a terrible time trial. Two terrible time trials by Kemner. Really, we signed him for that to be one of his strengths. He was 69th on the day, same as Barde and Lopez. I mean, terrible time trials, terrible days in both of those. Didn't matter in the end. We win by exactly two minutes to Thibaut. More to Gegenhardt, to Mulan, just over three minutes. Alaphilippe did get into the top five. We do not care at all about that. We have done it. What a race. And the big talking point has to be stage 10 still. What a crazy day that was. We were almost outside the top 100, 13 minutes down. We lost about seven minutes to the GC guys, six, seven minutes to most of them. And then we started to make it up in week three on stage 15, massive day for us there. That saw the big crack of Julian Alaphilippe. If he stayed with us on that day, he'd have won the Giro. There's no doubt about it. 17 as well, a great stage for us. We then won stage 18, claiming back the Maglia Rosa before finishing it off just fine in the mountains and then with the time trial. He says he doesn't feel well, but I'm sure he will feel just fine when he realises he's won the Giro d'Italia. Lenny Kamner, 25 years old. It's been a great season for him. He won Romandy as well just before starting the race. And let me tell you, he's not finished just yet because he has the Tour de France on his, on his schedule. And I believe he goes into that race as our leader again, hoping to claim the Giro tour double anyway guys i won't drag this out any longer than it has to be i really hope you enjoyed this race if you did i'd really appreciate if you hit that like button drop a sub to my channel as well for sure if you're new and you're enjoying this series we have more to come this year on pcm 2021 which i'm really really looking forward to and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one